I was going to take a couple of minutes and reflect back on our past two videos, our visit to Old Fort Parker and our visit to Peace River Battlefield or Battle Site, as the state of Texas calls it. Think a little bit about what we've learned so far about the Quanah Parker Trail and Cynthia Ann Parker. And think a little bit about the future, where we'll be going to, uh, to next. But at Old Fort Parker, that's where everything started. Uh, Cynthia Ann's family, the attack, the atrocities that she went through for the next few days, the horrible, horrible experience that, that she um, and, and the rest of the captives dealt with that uh, I won't go into detail here, but it was a very, very horrible, horrible experience. But all of that will ultimately define a lot of Texas history, a lot of lore and, and, and just the Old West, you know, cowboys and Indians. And so what, was, what, what happened that day will put in, into play a, a, just a lot, a lot of history and, and, and a lot, a lot of stories. So, um, so as tragic as it was, it will, it will produce some, some great Texas history. So our, uh, our last video, a couple of days ago, we were at Peace River, and that was where Cynthia Ann Parker was abducted yet again, this time by Saul Ross, and she was taken back into Anglo society. Well, the, the situation with both of these, the irony, is that she lost her family at nine, and then again in 1860 she lost her family, and this time she lost her Comanche family. And she had become fully Comanche by this time. There was nothing Anglo or about her. She had fully become a um, a, a, a Comanche in, in all in all aspects of, of her life. And she was um, when she was taken back. She was taken back with her daughter. And we'll talk a little bit more about their end and um, what became of them a little bit later on. But what did occur is she lost her husband and her son yet again. So she had lost a father and siblings in Old Fort Parker. And then at Peace River, 300 miles away, she lost a husband and a son. And she will never see her son or um, again. And he'll never see his mom again. Although he will meet her family at, uh, at, at a future point that we will discuss at a, at a, at a later point as well. So, What's happened so far is we've um, we've seen both places that book in Cynthia Ann's story, and now we're going to start uh, taking a little closer look at Quana Parker. Quana now is on his own with his dad. His dad will pass away in in a few years, and we'll talk about that when when we get there. But um, our focus now is to start visiting the areas and the locations that Quana made an impact. Uh, be it Adobe Walls, be it Paladuri Canyon, be it Fort Sill, places where the legend and the stories were were developed, the uh, the ranches that he you know he visited. Um, so there's all kinds of all kinds of history uh, uh, coming up. But uh, I think the biggest takeaway from the last two weeks is the will that the pioneers had. They knew the dangers of the frontier. They, they, they knew, they heard the stories. They, they had heard witnesses' accounts of the, just the horrible situations that occurred here, but their will was stronger than their fear, and that kept them, kept them push, pushing on. And so we're gonna see uh, pretty soon coming up that um, the pioneers and the progress of America West and the Comanche resilience to, to, to stand their ground and how that's going, uh, how that's going to meet. So, um, and again, the channel, Mike and Melissa, we're tabbing across Texas and hope that you can uh, join us. Thanks.